At least that guy was aiming. Ooh, I wanted to die just so I could get on this map. Fucking I don't know, I don't watch Star Wars. <laughs> Sorry. That's kind of crazy. All right, so let's try and do a crazy boot camp drop, shall we? So you want to drop like now? Oh, you want to drop like a square away on this map? If I really wanted to be like anybody, I'd be myself. The king of PUBG on console. Got him. Like, you see how fast I get carried up? Like, that is a huge deal. You like you gotta get like better at like especially if you're doing more and more hot drops. Getting the loot down fucking quick. Cause it's all downtime you're not looking at your enemy. Brock's not around right now because it's Professor Gars. So there's actually a guy right there. So just oh, just take everything you see and just put it into memory. So that's the guy that we saw there because obviously remember the clothes that people wear as well. So here's a double barrel. Just loaded an M4 or M16. I love that. There you go. Always be listening to shit as well. Alright, so we're gonna get rid of the AK. We're gonna go to M16. So we're gonna use this like a DMR. So we're kind of running low on nines. We still have nines in the middle lobster. Obviously we hear shots, so Kundikon wins the fight. Put that to memory. Or was it? The fight's still going on, so maybe it wasn't a kill. No, it is still, it's definitely Kundikon. Kundikon's over here, he's just got a double kill. So, he has a vector, so we can go vector versus vector. We have extended mag. It's pretty good. Shot in the back, not good. We'll just take a breather here. We see him over there. Kundikon, there you go. So now we know that he's gone, we're good. And obviously he's got nines, thank you, and fives, brilliant. So we actually got shot from, was it there? Where did I get shot from?
So you should probably rotate around the left here, but I always play aggressive. I always expect my enemies to miss their shots and give themselves up. Looking for nines. Alright, so we don't know where the SLR guy went, so we're just going to chill. Heard shots over here earlier, but I think it's the next compound across, so... We should be fairly safe until we get there. There's a grenade, so that's probably the fight continuing. It's actually evolved more up there. But there could still be a fight over here, so we just need to watch out. More shots further over, so sounded like there. Silent shots now. Uh, so dark just oh hello okay. So this fight just evolved again, but a guy right here. Oh shit! I didn't want to. Did not want to be on burst. That's a mistake. Um, out of position now, but he's pinched. We'll just go for the nub frag. He was actually called noob as well, so GG's. Here's a guy with an SLR. Okay. I remember hearing somebody in this compound. Silenced this. We shouldn't have him, so we would have been on the front wall or something. We can try to get closer though. Always zigzagging away just in case he's lining us up. Something I like to do. Simulate a gunfight. You see, we just we just bought out two players to shoot at us. So think of how much information we just got for giving our location away. Think of how much information we just got. We could have like delayed that fight, maybe been on the wall fighting that guy, and we would have got pinched. But instead, we got the information, got around, got the 1v1, won it, and we move on. Like, that's the sort of, like, thing that is going through my head. Now, this guy actually killed, I think he had a mutant, and he's pretty close. I can't remember his name, but it started with a D, so we're going to just um, relax for a bit, let the boost go in. We can't bait him out again. So that's a body rolling down the hill there, so you're probably going to say he's behind that rock if you went to loot. Generally... Players go to loot their kills, so... Zigzag... There he is, there he is, he came from behind that rock. That's the information that we wanted, and we got it. That's brilliant. That was exactly what we wanted. Oh, his name was Assault, yeah. Okay, so basically what I did there was I faked right. And it was so good. Because he actually... Wanted to go get in cover. But then I went immediately left. And he was exposed for a little bit. I missed my shots. But it's fine. Okay, so. Moped. Is it going to just tip up here? It is. So we wait for him to tip up. Gone. Just keeping yourself in cover and just striking at the right time. That's how we get rid of him. So that was nice. Uh, we didn't really loot this guy. Yeah, suppressor, why not? It's better than a flash eye. I feel like the flash eye is kind of trash. 
um people are going to be pushing up from uh south side because that's where the zone is coming from so we need to always just um kind of be wary of that we're actually gonna we've pretty been a bad boy actually we've kind of not really kitted up the m4 but i'm sure i've missed some loot for it that's fine we'll move on though because if there's, if there's more people coming we're going to get in a lot of like third party situations especially on a map like sanok you need to be ahead of the zone just a little bit usually so we'll get our run on this is all dead ground out here this is all like really bad ground when the zone's on your back here and you've got to fight forward it's so horrible you better wish you have nades so that's not a spawn so risky but you close the compound we'll get the vector out and we'll think about what we're doing right here so I think we're fairly clean here. Somebody's been here, but. We hear that? Outside, footsteps. Over there. He's on the other side of that wall. See him? Fake the door open. We had a massive health advantage there, so just make sure you get reload so you have maximum bullets. They'll always be shaking at that point. They'll always be like, oh, 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 what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? We may as well just use this boost and get this one. Nades back here. Okay, vehicle. Let's see if we can get this guy out of the driver's seat. Okay, that guy lagged hard. That's unfortunate. So we've got people up here that we could probably third party this. We're looking for dark something. Dead body there. That's dark. Right there. AK. Gone. Okay, so we've eliminated that threat. Another two players down. Sweet. So that's then you got 10 kills just by being in popular areas but playing safe hearing for third parties especially on sanhok did i just hear somebody following me if you ever think you hear somebody behind you just like do all that business just crouch go to the side see a guy on top of the hill this is an awkward one kind of don't want to push it but I should because it's got next zone and there's a crate there. That's actually the guy that I shot at going down the road. I actually feel comfortable about this now. I know his helmet's weak. I know his body is now weak. You only had a one vest on, so those shots hurt. Not only that, when I do go up to him with my vector next time, it's probably going to be a kill. But I felt like, yeah, there was somebody else here. Unless that was him. Is that him? It's going to be awkward for us now if he's got that crate. That was him, that's him. There's a, another person here. And we're actually just going to back this shit up. That's really unfortunate. How can... How can there be somebody watching the package? letting that shit happen for free I just got headed but okay those guys are refusing to fight this is awkward so we're actually going to back up away from this Just 
hit him in the head again. Still refusing to go down on this one. There's the ghillie guy. They're not teaming. It's just plain awkward as fuck. That's unfortunate. We've just got to back away from it. It's too dangerous. Too much risk. We got somebody on the bridge here eating blue. He might blew out to that. He's very, very close to dying. I'm going to be a fawn in that guy's side. <laughs> I think he might have just won his fight, you know. But he really needs to get a move on. Alright, we get rid of that guy. Um, he was annoying. I don't remember that buggy being there, but I would be dead if somebody actually came in on it, so we'll relax about that. It's a sniper from way up there. He, he shot. He's clueless, and uh, we'll take him down. Right, so this is like where we're kind of in a bad spot, but it happens from game to game. You're not going to always have what you want. All right, so we're trying to just adapt to what's going on. I think I just saw somebody there, 130, 12 alive. We're going to be creeping into zone. So remember, we have no space in this game. Right now, we kind of don't belong in this game. Looking for that vest, even if it's a one vest. You kind of just take it right now. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I can't hit a shot either. Uh, I don't know what that was, chat. Just ignore the, what that's... Yeah, okay. Uh, so that was kind of bad, but um, we kind of just <laughs> made do. Something I'm going to do actually is tank... I'm going to tank some blue here. Phase 4, it's fine. But I, yeah, that's exactly what I was looking for. Thank you. Thank you. We tank a little bit of zone. Absolutely fine there. So, like I said, we have no zone presence right now. Guaranteed there's going to be somebody over there. But there's going to be that many bush wookies and stuff here. And we only have a one vest now. So we've been shredded out of a three. So that's... There's the shots I was talking about. Wasabi gets somebody. So we're looking for Wasabi, but he's out of zone and we can actually see him. But got to be very, very careful where I'm shooting here. Bang. Gone. Orm's uh, looking to be about 55. Don't know if he's in the compound. Maybe he's just to the side of it. So we could actually try and track that down. Because he's going to have good three gear. That maybe we can steal. But we've got to be smart about it. Got to rotate in zone, wait for them to come in, but always be patrolling your little zone here. This can get awkward. We just need to sort of see him, catch him. So you're just out of zone here. Somewhere, obviously you're playing third person mostly on console, so... That's him. Bagging away. I'm going to actually take him down. He might have good three gear, so we're going to have a quick look at him. I'm not looking to take the arm at this stage in the game. It's just way too late, and we kind of just don't need it. There you go. Wang. Woohoo! 
we are back in the game now. If I had a little bit more time not to blue, maybe you could take the orb, maybe you could take the meds. So we're going to third party that fight as well. So that's so big for us. Now we control all this zone, right? We can creep into the left, but like, that's fine. Just making sure nobody's third party in us, trying to get aggressive, seeing what we've done. Hearing our shots and rotating on us. But we look like we're fairly good right now. So let's just peel back and let's just go forward and move on. Because when you're moving through deaths, usually those people would have killed anybody there. So you kind of, you're always taking over territory. That's kind of what the deal is. Just taking more and more territory. So we're actually going to full boost as much as we can for these last fights. There's no point in winning a game with five syringes. Okay, so we see a player there. He just killed a bush for us, a bush wookie. Circle's going to move so slow. So we know he's there. We've got to make sure we're definitely not being collapsed on. Grenade right there. Did he med? Did he actually med? Oh, absolutely strafed. We got aggressive on him there. So now we're looking for the shutdown. You kill the second to last person. Like that other guy knows you're it. And you're probably weak from the last fight. So a lot of people... Uh, do get aggressive, but looks like we're okay this time. So we're just patrolling what we're doing. We didn't see anything else. We have no information on where this guy could be. But did I just hear something? Have I just heard him? No, nope, that's information. So he's not over this side. He's definitely over this side. So that's great. So now we can sort of like step forward and try and take as much of this map as we can. I was guessing he's going to be laid down somewhere, maybe. I'm going to frag. You see my movement right here? Look at the minimap as I'm moving around this final zone. I'm sort of like trying to make sure that zone's going to push him. I don't really want to give him anything. There he is. Right, we finally spotted him. So what we're going to do, we're going to throw a third part, uh, 3 p.m. You see how much damage it does? And how quick you can be? Like, rather than just... It's like so much clean and you make it so hard to shoot while it's putting damage on them. And that's how you get a 17 kill dinner.